have a very wet day here. The morning hours, we have the downpours, and we continue with that here even in through the noon hour. A little bit of that heavy rain falling right in the Champlain Valley, too. You've got it uh, even towards Bristol, Burlington, right on the edge of some downpours, Plattsburgh up towards Champlain, maybe some moderate showers, but there are still some pockets of those downpours all the way through Franklin and northern Clinton County. Uh, northwestern Vermont seeing some of that as well. So heads up Chelsea, you guys there are going to get some of those showers that are continuing to make their way through the area and some downpours over Mount Holly, Paulette, Manchester, Shaftesbury, all included Grafton as well. So very, very wet. And in fact, all this rain here has prompted a flash flood watch for southern Vermont. This goes all the way through late tonight, and that is for the potential that there could be some flooding concerns in some localized areas. So, of course, you guys watch out for that. Don't be driving through any water on the roads, especially because you may not be able to tell how deep it is. All your usual flooding stuff. Of course, nothing or no major widespread issues, just a lot of water on the ground uh, because of this event. Right now, already over half of an inch of that rain has fallen since midnight in the in Burlington. Um, over three quarters of an inch in Lebanon, as well as Bennington, uh, six tenths of an inch or more has fallen in Springfield. So a very wet day here and we've got more of that on the way. So expect periods of that rain, some of which will be on the heavier side for the rest of the afternoon and evening and temperatures that will be hovering right near 70. We are right now near that 70 mark in the Champlain Valley and again not budging a whole lot through the evening hours. 61 in Plattsburgh, just a little bit cooler there. Same with Montpelier, some 50s for St. Jay and Lebanon, but everyone regardless is above normal, however cooler than yesterday. Overnight tonight, a cold front will pass and we do end up a little bit drier tomorrow. Maybe some clouds the most, but temperatures are going to take a hit to say the least. We're going to be in the low and mid 50s tomorrow morning and look where they go. Almost nowhere. We'll be right near that 50 mark throughout the day tomorrow as a northern northerly and northwesterly wind pulls in that cooler air, but it is drier air, so we do get at least a little bit of sunshine by the afternoon. We just have to get through today. Yes, that swath of rain is going to continue to move through the area. Could even see another organized line of heavy rain and maybe even a couple of thunderstorms through your evening commute and through dinner time. That's all ahead of that cold front, so please be watching out, guys. Not quite done with that heavy rain just yet, and that's why we do have some flooding concerns, especially for southern parts of the state. We do find broken clouds overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, but things really do quiet down. There's your sunshine returning for your Friday afternoon. On Saturday, not an entirely overcast day, but definitely moments of that and even a few stray showers, but there will be some sun in between. Do you even maybe possibly expect a few flurries in the mountains, perhaps, especially in southern Vermont and the higher elevations of the Green Mountains. So that's not out of the question, but no major accumulation, anything like that. Just kind of that uh, little snow shower flying in the higher elevations. That would be early on Saturday morning. Obviously temperatures appropriate for that. That cool down really taking over highs in the Champlain Valley in the 40s on Saturday. Like that, like I said, that mix of sun and clouds. Maybe a little warmer on Sunday, but drier. We remain below average all the way through most of next week.